Marqué par cette hausse des cas de Covid. Ça fait partie de la vie, le risque, ça fait partie de la vie, la mort. Is the global economy slowing down? The World Bank thinks we're heading for a recession. La Corée du Nord a lancé au moins 23 missiles. La grève, elle, dure depuis deux semaines. Des 50 degrés à Paris. The richest half of the world are responsible for 86% of greenhouse gas emissions. Cette crise des carburants s'atteint à une Trois chute de commerce de mondial. Dans un à chaque jour, ça a nous fait les incendies, incendies, les les phénomènes extrêmes que tout le monde flambé de... Uh, having a safe place to sleep at night is... Si le monde échoue, Right now is like a godsend. Hi everyone, and welcome back. So, apparently, in my reality, I'm romanticizing van life. It's funny to hear this. In a world of suits and high heels and loud voices, and big doors where everybody seems to be running after something sparkly. Maybe it's just a purpose, or a success story, or fame and glory. Everyone seems to push beyond and above their limit of aesthetic and morality to get to be seen into a world that looks legit but feels so false once you arrived in it. And all that seems to happen while we keep slamming doors to loving relationships. The one that doesn't have the label stable provider and partner as a title. This robotic life has spilled over into our personal relationships. You know, I keep seeing women putting on plastic nails and eyelashes. I don't know why to pimp their pictures made by three lengths camera with 4K resolution and filters integrated in it to gain probably self-confidence for their LinkedIn profile or Tinder profile. While we see all those well-suited men, 7 a.m. in the morning, fast walking to their offices. Beautiful offices, all painted in mental azilium white, but with amazing framed pictures of beautiful landscape with quote on saying, don't forget to be present or don't forget to live your best life. Then what the hell are you doing in the office? I guess that would be bad for the business, no? Or your mortgage? Or your, your credit cards? Or, or, or maybe the girl with the eyelashes? No matter what we do, the mask we've put on eventually becomes so glued on our face, we forget at the end what we look like. So you're telling me that I'm romanticizing vine life, right? Let me take you through a little bit of what you might see as the reality. To what I will respond, yes, in my van. 
to what they will probably be adding. Yes, but in your van, that is in the street, right? Which I wouldn't say yes, like your house. Your house is also in the street. And while the benefit of my inconvenience spare me millions of pounds that neither of us has to live on the same street, a lot of people have imprisoned themselves daily in matter of having a million pound sign promise that if you don't fail on the signed agreement you made in the next 20, 30, 40 years, you will finally get to own something by having your name on it and having the right to build a fence. Not too high though, you might bother the neighbor. Hello, how are you? And try to get a loan slightly bigger because if you live in London, you might need a budget yeah. to, for yeah. renovation. 11 kilo, uh, yes, please. Okay. And all of that hopefully will happen while you are still alive. Then, uh, then plan it. So I kind of will need a second one soon. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Yes, I do understand this is safety investment. So without trying to be clever, because I'm not. But for what I know about banks, they need to make money and they can't lend you money. So they give you a product, real estate, that they can easily, let's say, sell you for the sake of most human being dreams, the one of owning things. When in fact, they validate their loans on something they can always recover, the property. So you likely pay for a product the bank invents and can recover while you sold your souls working for 30 years towards obtaining it. Smart, no? What I'm simply trying to say here is that for me, this reality seems like hell. Probably as much as the concept of sleeping in the stream seems like hell to you. I know. And this is where generally the one that love going, let's say, deeper into the conversation, come to mention about the legal aspect of the story. Definitely my least favorite romantic aspect of the story. Because first, this is where they exclaim, Yes, but you van lifers, you, you, you live illegally. Which would I respond, yes, illegally aware. While you are legally living in a myth. Or voluntarily living in a myth. The myth of the triangle, banks, loans, and ownership. So yes, even if you are trying to protect your home by hiding it behind bigger trees, just know that I might be parked just right behind you. And for me, Acknowledging and respecting the uniqueness of each individual's hope and aspiration is far more important than any legal text or agreement. Understand how living in a van is not only a money story and or a rebellious act of nonsense. Living in a van is also, for a lot of people, an environmental engagement. And I'm not saying here that I'm the best on that. You know, I still travel. But it's learning to give respect to nature, acknowledging the gift that has been given by our mother. Life is tricky. It's tricky. It's very small, very, very small. Do you want to see? Right. Yeah, it is tricky. So I'm gonna concentrate now. Okay? Don't 
don't, don't, don't disturb me. Cause I can't go home without you And my heart just vibe with you, babe Wanna go sky high with you, babe Gotta bring you close to tell you That you're my lucky strike And I got to tell you If you didn't know Then I got to tell you That you're my lucky strike And I got to tell you If you didn't know Then I got to tell you Oh, how hard it is when the sun doesn't shine on us. Power. How spoiled are we? And no, simplicity doesn't mean easy. Especially after watching this video on the reality of living simply in the city. So if you are still thinking that I'm romanticizing Trust me, I'm not. All of us are free to change the course of our lives whenever we want or have to. But we can't deny the truth behind Buddha's vision of life. Quote, less you have, less you have to worry about. In the end, only three things matter. How much you loved, how gently you lived, and how gracefully you let go of things not meant for you. And as you can see, we can mention many different lives or realities here. Fun life, it's still life. And we all know that life is tough sometimes. So if you could excuse the few optimists left over, we are on this planet Earth and understanding that I'm not trying to convince you here, but I'm trying to help you unlearn preconceived ideas. Because in the end, our only freedom we have on that planet resides in our choices. And you have the opportunity of seeing the world in its full spectrum. The entire rainbow in constant shifting colors. Understand that it's all about the tone you set to your own story. The vibe you let enter will give the flow of the tribe you will be dancing with. And even if the sour and sweet taste of life can sometimes be hard to swallow, do not worry, because anything unappetizing for humans will be delicately defecated directly through you or the collective in order to clear out the dirt 
and so allowing yourself to be realistic romantics or just enough for me to see you all rolling by hope instead of fear and with love in state of judgment You're my lucky strike Love the way you ride Look into my eyes Say you're ready to go Million dollar life We can roll the dice I like your surprise But you already know Oh yeah Got lucky, got lucky overnight Jackpot when I got the invite Let me wrap my arms around you Cause I can't go home without you And my heart just vibe with your back Wanna go sky 